Today's first story is a clear case of waiting Musa Nogosi for gates mm -hmm. because Nigerian rapper Sadiq Abubakar Abu Yusuf, popularly known as CDQ, has, has quite a reaction on social media following his recent post on Twitter. CDQ in a recent post called out the son of popular politician Bola Tinubu, Sheyi Tinubu, for disrespecting him at Davido's house. First of all, that brag. That, well, I didn't get invited, but it's cool, whatever. He started off by tweeting, Sheyi Tinubu, I'm about to ex compose an article for you about what you did to me last night at mm. Davido's house. I might not be born with a silver spoon like you, but bruh. I am a fighter and a strong hustler that germinated from the slum to where I am today. I won't take disrespect from anyone. He went on to say more tweets, of course, in which he concluded in saying that he will still come out to say exactly what he did, but it will be done on national TV. And let me just use this opportunity, CDQ. We are national TV. We're TV. here. We're national international TV. <laughs> TV. <laughs> oh, uh, you, exactly. And we so, are saying you can come you on can to come here. There's a lot of space for you, sir, to, you know, express yourself. What do you hmm. guys think? Okay, so first of all, um, go down there. I'm the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the type of guy that I don't jump into conclusions until I find out um, from both parties, right? I think that's my lawyer instinct that kicks in when that happens. So I tend, I um, I know CDQ to an extent. So I wouldn't say he's one of the closest people I know in the industry, but I know him to an extent, and I know he's not a troublemaker. That's mm. one thing I know for sure. So if you're saying someone did him wrong, um, I've not been privileged to meet Shea Itinobu, but I know people that know him, and I, I haven't heard anyone speak negatively about him mm. either. Mm. So it would be wrong for me now to draw a conclusion from both of them. Okay, one I have met, one I know is a cool dude, the other I haven't met, but I've heard positive stuff positive. about. Mm. So how am I supposed to fight this battle mm. right now. So I'm torn. I'm, I'm, so I'm going to be Switzerland on this. Mm. So I'd like CDQ to do, like you said, you know, put your money where your mouth is. No. You already said you're going to um, show, um, put out the video. But it I don't know now. Is it an article we're supposed to be expecting? Or is Whatever it, it is, but let it be favorite. well detailed. Let yeah. it tell us everything and all that. And then if possible, if Shei Tinubu feels generous mm. enough to grant him an apology or, um, audience or an audience. Or you want to come on national TV a, like Team yeah, Time. To, and you know. <laughs> to address it as well, then that would be amazing. But you know what? We would never be able to get to the bottom of the matter until we hear from we both, both parties. Both parties, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I, I think for for me, I've never really heard CDQ um, stir up drama. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know him at all personally, but that for me made me want to listen to him a bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, if it was somebody who drags every single every thing, time. like I woke right. up today, come and see social media, let me tell you about it. Or uh, somebody said hi to me, I'll, I'll tell it to social media. He's not the kind of person that normally brings his personal life and obviously he's had issues before and he hasn't brought social media either. So for him to really go out of his way to do all this, tag David Do, I mean, he clearly feels... That well, he's I don't on know. His I think right we're the ones thinking is David Do. He said that David's house. Do you know what I mean? David. My guy is David. David's house. Mm. It was David's house. I'm just David joking. Okay. <laughs> uh, did you that, that that tweet says what you did to me last night? That that just mm, yeah. <laughs> come on. Yeah. But moving on though, uh, I I know Shaitan. He's a cool guy. He's all right. He's mm. fine. He helps people. He's there for you. He listens to you. Mm. The philanthropist. Do you understand? CDQ on the other hand, I don't really know him. Mm. Now, this b brings it back to Mike and uh, what's, what's that? Uh, Kulia 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 Kulia. Mm. Why couldn't he just reach out to you? Now, disrespect again is relative. We don't know what mm. kind of disrespect it might be. Oh, he was greeting everybody, he didn't greet me, mm. or he stepped on my shoe, or mm. he didn't, or something. It might be something silly that mm. we like, that guy, come on now. Mm. It might be something serious. So we don't really know what is going on just yet. But I think he should have just reached out to Shay first. Like, guy, what was that all, that all about before coming on? But, Really, I don't know what happened. I, I, I think there's also a... The, I, I like to advise people to hold off with the adjectives when somebody does something. Mm. Like, sometimes the person is rude because they're rude, not because they're rich. Or mm. the person mm. is... Is um, mm. late. Mm. Uh, a well person said. is negative not because they're black or the woman. Just they're just they're just those people, you know. Yes. I, I I didn't really. I felt like he was already trying to create a narrative without telling us his story by bringing in um, what's it called silver spoon and all of that stuff. Just because you, you were not born. Of, of, of a, yeah, of just because you were not. That also sounds yeah, like complex mm -hmm. to me. Though. Yeah, honestly, yeah. because just because you are you were not born with a silver spoon doesn't mean that you're actually no. You're actually the victim here. 
it's not every time a rich man is involved with a poor man, quote mm. unquote, that it is it, that simple. There's also that element. And then I that think um, people in. also need to, in as much as you can, be very, very confident in yourself. Mm. Sometimes, um, like a chicken does, when you're new, when you're in a new environment, you put one leg up. When you get comfortable, you put the second leg down, it's right? The chicken does that. Yeah. So yeah. when a chicken gets, if you buy a chicken today, we'll stand on one <laughs> we'll leg. We'll find out, right? Yeah. So. Um, I think a lot of people also need to calm down. I don't know your relationship with Shei Tinobu. If you guys were not so cool mm -hmm. and you're meeting him for the first time and he's probably not a fan of your music or he doesn't even really don't know, know you. I that. mean, we'll have to, we'll have no, to really I'm have saying, to create like, theories and So stuff if on what behalf. your idea, like, that's why I'm just mm -hmm. uh, off the back mm -hmm. of what Mao said, that we don't know, um, this respect is relative here. Yeah. We mm -hmm. don't know exactly what transpired. So you could have just been Shei. Like mm -hmm. you also said, it's not, it, maybe he wasn't even rude. It was just mm -hmm. Shei being Shei. Mm -hmm. And then you we'll see. We're well, definitely going to watch this space and update you guys. So please stay tuned for that. Um, moving on, we have media personality Nobu Igwe, who has taken a swipe at Yemi Alade. First of all, how dare you? But while making it clear that YJ is a better singer than her, the father of two was responding to a tweet from PR consultant Ogasus, Ogagus, who wrote that nobody can out sing Yemi Alade in the Nigerian music scene because she is a vocal powerhouse and has total control of her instrument. Instruments. Replying to the tweet, Noble wrote, Waje will out sing Yemi Alade every day of the week and twice on Sunday. And see me, me, me. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, I totally agree with Noble Igwe for like in a very long time. I don't agree with most of his posts, mm. but in a very long time, I think I agree. Yemi Alade is a great singer. She represents Africa um, properly. She puts us on the map. But if you're talking about, I don't know, if you guys have heard Waje sing, mm. Waje is a 19 mm. girl. Yemi Alade is a good singer. Yes, she's a great vocalist. She's a great songwriter. She's a great performer. She is like, I cannot take anything away from Yemi Alade. But in terms of um, vocal dexterity, I'm going to definitely go with a YJ. Okay. Weather no one naira. If not too naira, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ogagos was doing his job by being a PR consultant. Mm. By doing his job, he's saying, oh, this person is a better singer. He's doing his job. He's being mm. paid for mm. doing that. Now, for Noble Igwe, I think that was just really Unnecessary. childish. Mm. Or no, mm. really like, no, no. It I, was just his two cents on the, something that was strange. Like, you, he has a following. Mm. He, has he knows people. he has a following. Do you understand? People are listening. People are watching you. And you come out and say something like, oh, uh, YJ. They are okay. both, look, they're both putting work. YJ mm. is amazing at what she does. Yemi Alade is good at what she does. Mm. You can't just say, and hey, one person is better than the other. Come mm. on, they're both doing well, bringing Africa, on the, Nigeria on the map, on the global map. So you comparing, the, I, I don't do that comparison thing. When they do the mm. whole David Doe whiskey thing, these mm. guys are putting in work. Yeah. So why should I say this person is better than this person? Mm. I, do, I, I think there's other that. ways to say that it's more, um, you know, tasteful. Um, him, him directly responding and putting Waje's name in that tweet is creating tension that's not necessary, one. Um, if he took his own time and went on his own Twitter page and, and gave accolades to Tiwa um, um, Savage, gave accolades to Waje and said, we were sleeping on Waje, this person is this and this and that. And it's not direct contact with mm. um, Yemi Alade. Yeah, Maybe that, that would have been a lot better. I get that, but, though. I mean, it's his Twitter, it's his opinion, whatever. I think Yemi Noble, Alade I'm not is... the kind of person that has put Noble past what's, what's all it? of that what's anyway. I've seen Yemi Alade's, um, what's it called, um, performances, right? And I've also been privileged to be at, um, what's it called, um, what, what is Red Velvet, okay. YJ's yeah. first ever concert. And she made it a musical, a theoretical musical. So it's more like you're watching like a series, a stage play, musically. Every song told a story. She sang and she acted it out and she was able to connect to the audience. And I don't see that type of connection musically with a lot, apart from the jinjao, jinjao that we are doing. I'm saying now a connection, somebody telling you a story with the vocals, with the, with the lyrics, with everything. And I just think that, man, Wajay, we're actually out singing me and Lade, Monday to Sun, Sunday to Sunday. And so is on Monday. I mean, if you're going to take out, if you're going to take out everything else that makes up an artist, and you focus just on on vocals, vocal. I agree that Tiwa Savage. I keep calling her Tiwa Savage. Um, uh, YJ is a better vocalist. Vocalist in terms yeah. of the you know the notes and the yeah. That's the, what they're talking uh, about the singing. Uh, uh, 
They're not talking well, about every see, that, other that's, thing. That's the thing. That's not actually what they were talking about. When the PR guy came out, he said she owns her instruments, as in the whole art of the mm, form. Mm. And then he came in, left all the other aspects that, that he true, was talking true, about, true. and said she will out sing, Bam. whatever, whatever. Obviously, creating the intention for that tweet was just wrong, in my opinion. But unfortunately, uh, vocals is not the leading that makes up an artist. So mm. we're not going to talk about who's bigger because that's very clear. Mm. But you can't take away from the fact that YJ is very talented vocally. But I don't think I don't think Yemi Alade is not a good contender. I think she also owns her Thank ground you. a yes. bit. No, no, I don't no, think no, her no, song, no even, 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 even her song doesn't really um, necessarily stress on vocals as mm. much. I think it's more of the vibe and the message and I'm all of that, the performance. Journey. Yeah, all of that <laughs> stuff. So... <laughs> I mean, it's what it is. It uh, is we, what we don't it do is. comparisons here. Healthy comparisons. Is we love, we, we love Yemi Alade and we love YJ equally, Very much man. So. She's Keep been doing your thing. So Beautiful, times. strong yes, African yes, women. Yes, All righty. Next on the list of conversations is Nigerian singer Tiwa Savage, which is why I keep mentioning Tiwa Savage, has been nominated alongside several other international artists, including Beyonce. In the UK Music Video Awards, Tiwa, whose Celia album has continued to enjoy massive airplay, Bagged two nominations in the award scheme, which is an annual event to honor music visuals for the UK and, and international arts. Tiwa's hit song 4999 is tuned selected to run for best styling in the R&B slash soul video international category. Alrighty, that's some big, big shout brag. out, big shout out, and yes, the the, the styling, the styling was on point. It like was you can't fire. Even take that away, like that fire. video was everything. That video was life. Like I, if it's Tua, I'm, I'm for it. Anything yeah. Tua, anything Tua, I'm here. I'm mm. here for it. Even <laughs> if she sings rubbish, it's Tua Savage covered. Even yeah. though, even though we know she's not going to win, we know. How do you How do know? You know? No, okay. we don't know. She might. How do you know if why? It's because okay. of the, the the other nominees. The other nominees yes. or in the category. Mm. Yes. In what the if she wins? What happens? She wins. If he, if she wins, if because it, it's on national TV, if she wins, you're getting us lunch. I get you lunch. Three, and five, dinner. and above. Good lunch, you. And dinner. Uh -huh. Good ah. lunch and dinner. Good lunch. If she okay. wins, That's but if she doesn't win, yeah. we'll good lunch you. is done from you. No, both of you. us are no, no, getting no, you, do you dinner. Do, do dinner is more expensive. You do dinner. <laughs> 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 I'm doing good. Right. So, deal. Game. Game. Let me Game. 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 Nice. Um, please, if you're supporting to us, Savage, so that we don't have to buy this man mm. lunch. But I, I think it's a really I good idea. Too. I like that we are we're getting noticed for our efforts. Um, she did really well with that. I also hope that this type of um, nominations also get um, the people behind the scenes because I always used to say that I feel like the artists behind the scenes Tiwa Savage did not actually make that music video so there needs to be credit for those people who did that mm -hmm. the stylists the videographers right, the creative right, directors right. all of those people are human beings with, it, with you know they're trying to also with push bills to pay you know so I'm hoping <laughs> that Tiwa Savage also carries everybody along and shares this glory even because I feel like this nomination in no, itself Mama Jam Jam is, is a very win generous. as well she's known for generosity alrighty then Mama the Jam Jam will keep yeah. looking out for you T